Well, decorating is a big part of Halloween, and some families do it mm -hmm. really big. And one family in North Center is the talk of the neighborhood. Photojournalists Bill Clazura and Josh Troyer talk with them to find out what motivates them. And it turns out the reason why is a little more heartwarming than you would expect. And this is my tree man. <laughs> Love Halloween. This little guy that came into our life loves it more, so each year we've expanded. People will drive by and say, Oh, I think there's room for one yeah, more item. Exactly. So we have lots of animatronics. There are a lot of good decorations throughout the neighborhood. Yeah, there really are. But I think ours is a lot overkill, maybe some people say. For such a tiny space, we cram a lot yeah. in. We've decorated from top to bottom. It's all for him. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm Al. Welcome to our spectacular Hoyne Halloween house. A lot of animatronics that work off electricity, batteries. Oh, sorry. The moving eyeballs need some new batteries. We have a lot of broken ones that we just use as props. You know, it's, a, it's a joy. I mean, it feels to see good. him happy and, you know, people walk by, he's, he interacts with the people, he tells them where the stuff was bought, batteries, electric, he knows it all. So we probably have about 20 animatronics, different pieces that we put here and there. Lights, of course, we have a bunch of skeletons this year. We did a spider display. The gangway this year is the skeletons. The, there's a graveyard art front. And then we added um, the pirates. Right here is a talking pirate. We're running out of space. It may take about a week. And then we just add, we tweak it as we go. What's up, Chicago? It's me, Kayato, here, and this is my Halloween collection. It can be chaotic. It can be crazy. He really enjoys when they come to life. There's a lot of children, not just Kai, that really look forward to it. They really enjoy it, and we enjoy watching it. It's pretty fun here. I had a lot of decorations set up here. Kai has some special needs. He developmental issues, so everything he has processing issues, and he really didn't play with toys. He just loved Halloween. We would take him to Spirit. Wasn't scared of anything. No, he just loves it. He just loves the, I think he likes the thrill, too. He heard I was going to Menards or Home Depot. He had to go with. It wasn't to help me get stuff for the house. It was to look at all the animatronics. So how we were introduced to Kai was through my father, whose doctor was Jim, and Jim was looking for a daycare. Once he brought Kai home from the hospital and he came to our house, and I volunteered to watch him, and I have been watching him since he was about four weeks old. He would stay with us while Jim worked, and then Jim would pick him up at night, and it just became, um, we all became family. You know, it takes a village, and we are his village. Oh, never mind, she's off. Never mind. And sometimes he does get frightened. I mean, you don't know what some of the things are gonna do. They scare us. She's creepy. He loves those kind, that thrill, that excitement. Every year we add on based on what he picks. October is my favorite holiday. That is when Halloween starts. He doesn't even care about Christmas. This is his season. I think the large animatronics started when... He came into our when, lives. When Kai came into our life. But the scary stuff came when Kai was yeah. old enough to express what he liked, and this was it. The parents appreciated it, the kids appreciated it, and Kai likes being able to share his passion. That oh, is awesome. so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love the Halloween decorations. I and do, so... and I love the fact that it brings him so much joy. Yeah, you know? yeah, mm -hmm. good That's job, awesome. guys, that was great.